Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another gardening video. So today we are actually going to open up my brand new window boxes and we are going to plant these babies with a few plants that will really wow the crowd without breaking the bank. Alright y'all, so here's a window box. We're going to open it up. This is one of the medium sizes, so it's 36 inches long, so it's pretty big. Um, but the, the bigger ones are 48 inches, so they are even bigger. But this is how they come. Dun, dun, dun. So we've got the window box, and we've got all three brackets, and then this is just packing to keep it sturdy in here so it doesn't get hurt although they're stainless steel so I don't know exactly what would happen to it but let's go ahead and take it out box there's the first bracket so you just kind of flip the brackets off the bottom here and then they unclip from the top and that's how they sit on the wall as well so here are our instructions. Dun, dun, dun. Here is our actual window box. It's a pretty good size. So unfortunately, it looks like all the hardware came out of the little bag here. That's OK. You can grab it pretty easy. So they give you the pieces for if you're going into a stud or not into a stud. The screws are definitely like heavy duty and these will go right through your brackets. So I'm going to show you how we hung these um, and how you can hang them. The instructions do tell you. Dun, dun, dun. The larger window boxes have four brackets, but the medium and the small both have three. But it tells you right here, like you want to go through a board, you want to sink your board into the studs, and then it tells you how far apart to put your brackets for the right weight distribution. But the 16 inch, we'll talk about that later in the video, we found out that is not, not going to work. So. We did 10 inches and 10 inches between both sizes, but we're going to go ahead and get started hanging those. So this whole video is going to be about hanging these babies, mounting them on the house. I have another video I'll link to below that will show you how we run some drip irrigation through all these little drain holes. We're going to run one up here so that I don't have to water these every day. And then I will show you a third video. I'll leave that link down below of what I'm going to put in them, how I planted them up for this year. These babies, even though they were birthday presents, they weren't cheap and I did buy two of them. So we're going with inexpensive plants. We want a lot of bang for our buck. So if you wanna watch the video on the drip irrigation or an inexpensive window box planting, I will leave those down below. But for now, we're gonna get started with hanging these. So what we did was, we filled this up about a third to a half of the way with this potting mix. We got the miracle Grow potting mix because we're doing um, annuals. Okay. And then we're going to put this Proven William Super Tunia Bordeaux in the middle here. It Proven takes winners. Proven winners, yeah. It takes full apart sun, gets six to ten inches tall but it gets really wide. How wide does it get? Like. Maximum 18 inches wide. Okay, so it's gonna get, we're gonna put that right in the middle, right here, and it'll grow up and over. And then we're gonna put a vinca on one side and another vinca on the other side. And they, these get, Oh gosh, about 10, 8 to 10 inches tall. And they get real bushy. 
So we just put those in and then we're going to put the potting soil around each side of it. And, and you can do more plants, but we wanted to do really inexpensive window boxes. I've paid a lot for landscaping this year. So the main goal was to get plants that we knew would okay. get really big, really bushy, give us a lot of color, a lot of bang for our buck. And next year we may go more crazy, but this year it's all about inexpensive window boxes. We know yep. super tunias and minkas get big, they get bushy, they get lots and lots of blooms as long as you fertilize them properly. Right. And this Miracle Grow potting soil has your starter slow release fertilizer already in it. And then we'll come around every week and I'll fertilize them with my annual fertilizer. Liquid fertilizer. Liquid fertilizer. And I use the Miracle Grow liquid fertilizer. Not and sponsored or anything, it's just what I get at Lowe's. Yep. And then uh, I came in under the bottom of the window box. Up through one of the drip holes. Through one of the drip holes. I used this uh, quarter, quarter inch, inch black poly tubing. Black poly tubing, brought it up. And then I used a T-coupler right here. I, and there'll be some pictures on here. And then I added this quarter inch tubing that has emitters every six inches. Yeah, six to, oh, no, they're 12 inches. They're every 12 inches. Oh, I thought we got the six inch one. No, I only have it for 12. So That's why I did a loop. I did a nice loop. Instead of just one strip, so got, we did a loop. It's gonna get enough water. And that will water these every, time. every morning. That way I don't have to come in and water them every day. By hand. By hand, which nobody wants to do that. Especially in Alabama in the heat of the summer. And I will show you what, we're gonna have a whole video on setting up your drip tube and your whole system, but this is how we did the window boxes. And they're just gonna, the black collie tubing is just gonna hang down. And it'll it's... eventually be covered by the plants. Yep, and it'll uh, tie into the black tubing in the garden. So, this one's almost full. And then as soon as we finish getting the potting soil in, tamp it down, make sure there's not any air pockets in there. And even though we have the drip tube set up, I'll water everything in really good right now after we planted it. Yeah. So that everything's not so stressed and yep. gets go. watered really well right away. Cause and I can just, this bad boy looks like he needs some water. Yeah. The Vinca's not so bad, but this guy is thirsty. Vinca is really um, very hardy, drought tolerant. Or one of these little things got. I'm very good at killing planting. things, and so far my Vinca looks wonderful. Yeah, Vinca is such a good plant for beginners. That's why I I told Betsy to. Mom's an expert Bye. gardener. Betsy is not an expert Plant gardener. with the vinca. So this will just be right like this in here and it'll... It'll grow up. And once we get it on the window box, we'll show you, but we'll come in and prune all of this about halfway back. That'll make it less stress. It'll put more effort into growing its roots. Yep. And then when it does come back, it'll be twice as big, have twice as many blooms. Yeah. All right. It seems cruel to pinch things back, but that's the I best don't get way it. To do it. It upsets me, but so far, every time mom's made me do it, it really does make a difference. All right. All right, we're gonna do the second one. Oh, oh my god, so we started on this one. No, show the camera. Oh my god. I'm trying to get him. Look what just jumped out of this plant. Thing is show, huge. Show him up here. Lift your hand up. He's huge. It's a big toad or a big frog. He scared mom half to death. I was setting the camera up or y'all would have seen it. There Just like that. Yep. All right, little oh. guy. Can you put him in the garden wall so he's not in the middle of the yard getting too hot? Oh. Okay, so <laughs> this running. is the... He's running. Super Tunia Vista Silverberry. Proven winners. And this one gets 12 to 24 inches tall. Um, eight in inches wide. And this will look real pretty with that burgundy because it's got a little white 
white blossom with pink on the inside. Oh my God, that scared me to death. All of a sudden, all of a sudden there was a big toad. I thought it that might dart be was moving. A bug or maybe it was caught and she was like, oh my God, no, it's a big toad. Oh, Lord have mercy. Or a frog. If you know if that was a frog or a toad, let us know down below. Cause I have no, diff no idea what the difference is. All I know is it moved and it was squishy. So uh, it kind of like scared me a little bit. I think I think it was a toad because it looks like it had more bumps. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know if that's a scientific method of checking or if that's a scientific um, that's storybook a, way of checking. Yeah, that's a myth or a fact. I'm just like kind of unraveling these a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and all of all of this will will cut back. Probably to, maybe to about the edge of here. Yeah, I cut them back about halfway when I planted mine. And they will get big fast. All the, all the things I cut back in the garden so far have already doubled in size. Oh, and have twice as many blooms too. Yeah. That's, to me, it doesn't make any sense. It seems get like twice we're killing as fat it. And twice as many flowers. Well, it's like this. It's like when it's getting ready to be planted, it's like, Oh, I really want to make roots, but if you cut yeah. it back, if, if, if it's got flowers out, it's putting a lot of energy into making the flowers instead of making the roots. The roots. So if you make the roots better, then when it does make flowers, they'll better. They'll get better. They'll get more flowers. Stronger. More blooms. Opening up the roots a little bit. I think this one's about empty. I'm just gonna grab oh, it, pour it in. Pour it in. Do we need another one? Is it in your car? There's more, but we can get it later. And we don't need it for that one. Um. Yeah, I guess we do. We'll come both of them. All right, there we go. All right, we're gonna put these on the house. We have a third one. So this is a set of three. So two of the whites on either side and the purple in the middle. But the third one, the third window box hasn't got here yet, so we'll arrived. we'll show you when it gets here. Yep. And then, so all right, what were you saying? Um, I'm putting the tubing laying on top of the soil, and it's really good because it puts the water right at the roots instead of watering the leaves and everything. And it's just better for your plants. Get the water right where it needs to be, especially in the heat of the summer. They just don't like to get wet. It's it's stressful to them. All, All right. right, we're gonna put these two on the house. All right, well. And now you can see the, the bottom of the drip tube coming out one of those drip holes. And then the other one we planted will go right here. And when the third one comes, you can see we've got it all ready. There we go. Perfect. Be all right, well, great once we get all three done. Oh, this one's on its way. This one we have, but I need to get another board. And then last but not least, the big two at the bottom. So these ones we planted very similarly. We have the super tunias, the proven winners, white with the silver in the middle. We've got the Vinca. Another white, 
another vinca, purple, the purple petunias, super tunias, vinca, white, pink, and white. And I'm telling you, once these got going, they will just be covered in blooms. Should be a really inexpensive way to fill up these window boxes with a lot of color. So I will update you as we go. We're gonna go ahead and plant up. Oh, you can't even see them. There we go, plant up the third window box that goes on the middle window. And then I'm gonna run to Lowe's and grab a board. You can see here, I have a whole video on how we mounted these, but there's a board back here. I thought we didn't need a board for that middle window. And we do, so I gotta go get one. All right, so, mom said, hold them up, cut them off at about six inches. doing it cut off all your blooms but it's just better in the long run since these are so tangly I'm gonna kind of untangle them and just make sure we've got a good amount on everything this one can come back just a bit This one a little more because he's a little straggly. Straggly is not a word, but we're gonna pretend it was. This one. Now we're gonna water them. I got these on Amazon. They're not Falco 2s. They're pink and they cut really good. I'm just gonna wet everything really good, trying to get the soil and the roots and not so much the, the plants. Typically when you're doing stuff like this, when you start to see it come out the bottom, drip out the bottom, you know it's all good and wet all the way through. go ahead I'm gonna keep going all the way down and then we'll show you when it's all finished all right y'all as you can see they are all in I still now that I have everything up off the ground need a better solution for my hoses but for now let's not focus on that let's focus on these beautiful window boxes I love them Sorry, I'm falling over trying to not hit my plants. So these are the three middle sizes. And you can see they do fit on these standard size windows perfectly. Pretty sure they're standard size here. One, two, three. And my larger windows, same thing. fit the exact same way but these are the large size so three of the medium size one two three of the large size absolutely love them I will for sure give y'all updates as we go 
on how the plants are going in and how they look. I just watered everything so you can see water. You might be able to not be able to see it, but you can hear it if you listen close. Coming out of those drip holes just like it's meant to. So I hope y'all enjoyed this, this video. Betty and I are going to go inside and cool off. Get away from these gnats. Let's go, Betty, Betty. See y'all later. Bye.